Hey guys, and welcome to Astros Coding. In this playlist, we're going to learn about Android development. The only prerequisite you need before watching this playlist is Kotlin programming language. If you have no experience with Kotlin, I recommend you to watch my Kotlin for Beginners playlist before watching this one. Now this is a Windows installation video. I thought of creating a separate video for macOS, but the steps are very similar, so I skipped that part. So Android Studio is a very comprehensive software. It consists of multiple utilities and some other tools that can help you simplify your building process of the Android application, like database and networking inspectors, Android bundle, and some other stuff. Now let's start downloading Android Studio. And before downloading Android Studio, there are some terms and conditions that you need to accept. So make sure you read them before doing so. Now, since the downloading process will take some time, we'll just skip to the installation process. So the installation process is very simple. Just a couple of next clicks and then you have the application. And here, it's just telling you that it will install Android Virtual Device or the emulator along with the software itself. And here, this is the default location for Android Studio. And we'll just wait until the installation completes. Once it's done, we're going to click Next and Finish to launch Android Studio. And here, it asks us if we have any prior settings. In this case, we don't have any prior settings. This is the first time we install Android Studio. And then we have this screen, which is the welcome screen for our installation. It will just modify and customize a couple of settings. Here, just leave it to standard because we don't have any prior settings. And we will choose the, the uh, UI mode, which is, I will leave it to dark in this case. And here it just uh, tells us that it will install and download the following applications, like the SDK, Android SDK, and so on. And then we have to accept the Android SDK license and the Intel Android Extra license. Now here just will take some time. And once it's done, we'll be able to create our first project. And finally, here's the welcome screen to Android Studio. We'll explore it by creating a new project. So you can see we have a couple of predefined templates to create our project like Jetpack Compose template, we have Google Maps activity, some other activities, and so on. So we'll just leave it to simple and we will choose an empty activity, just an empty application with nothing additional added. Here we have to uh, choose the uh, name of our application, so I'm just going to name it my first project. Next comes the package name or the ID of our application. So this must be unique across your apps. This is how Google Play Store distinguishes between different applications. Next comes the save location of your project, which is normally under Android projects. Then the language, which is uh, Kotlin in this case. And finally comes the minimum SDK or the minimum Android version that your project will run with. And you can also see it shows us an approximate percentage of the applications that can run our app, of, of, of the devices that can run our app. So once we're done, I we'll click Finish, and it will just download a couple extra stuff. So don't worry, this, uh, this process only happens the first time you download Android Studio. Once you create a new project ever again, you're never going to see any more downloads. So once Android Studio opens your project, it will start building and indexing and managing resources of your project, so it might take some time. And once it's done, this just create an emulator or a virtual device. So you go to the device manager, which is an icon on the top right corner of the application. And you can see here, I have already created some devices before. You can create one by clicking on create device button here. And then make sure phone is selected, then click next. And here you have to install an Android image or Android version to be uh, paired with your emulator. You can see I have already downloaded R, Q, and Pi. You can download any image by just clicking on the download icon here. I'll just leave it to R in this case, and I'm just going to click next. Then you can give a name to your emulator along with customizing, customizing some of settings, some couple of settings like the startup orientation, the device frame, 
uh, the camera, the networking hardware, the memory, and much, much more uh, settings. We'll just leave it to the default here. I'm not going to play with anything. I'm going to click next. And finally, we will launch our emulator by clicking the run button here. Now, my emulator will launch as a standalone application. By default, emulators run on a window tool. like a window tool here. Uh, so to disable this action, what you gotta do is go to the settings file, then settings, and you type emulator. Then make sure this uh, option is on left unchecked. Then you start your emulator and it will run on a standalone application. Now let's just run our activity or our application on the virtual device. So click run. And now Android Studio will just take some time to build your application and pair it or install it on your emulator. Once everything is completed, we'll finally see our application. Hello world. So if you need to run your application on a physical device or if you don't need an emulator, in this case, you have to enable the developer options on your physical device. So by default, these developer options are disabled. So all you got to do is just go to the settings. Then you go to about phones, which is normally at the last, last thing in the list. Then you click the build time or build number for seven times. And once you see this message, then the developer options will be and under, under system, advanced, and you can see developer options right here. So here you have to enable a setting called USB debugging. Make sure it's set enabled. And once you connect your device or your physical device with a USB cable, you'll be able to see your device appearing on the devices list on here, beside the device manager. And also, there's another way to connect your physical device to Android Studio. This is by making a wireless connection. So if you go here and see the paired device using Wi-Fi, all you got to do is just go to Developer Options, Wireless Debugging, Pair Using QR Code. And this is usually under USB Debugging here on the list, Wireless Debugging. So make sure you leave, you leave it enabled, click Allow. And once you open it, you'll be able to scan the QR code and pair your device or you pair your physical device with Android Studio. Now, for more information regarding connecting your device or devices or in the emulator to Android Studio, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it at your leisure. So that's it for the first video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video.